Hey guys, welcome back to Seat Story Cup. Woo! We're in the second half now of day two. Yep. Last two groups in the round of 32. I'm here with Alesh and Crip. Mm -hmm. Guys, how you doing? How are you liking the event? Pretty sick. Loving it. Good. Loving just it. Seeing uh, the the leftover players that just haven't had a chance to play yet. Yeah. They've just been like hanging out. For, these like, are these are the scraps of, of the pros right here. Yeah. yeah I get to play now. I get to play. Yeah. Zero three. <laughs> oh, that, would that would suck. Yeah. Is that better or worse than going zero three at the beginning of day one? Oh no! If you go zero three at the beginning of game one, you have a lot of opportunity to win your money back in, in poker. poker? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I think that's forcing strategy actually. That was probably a strategy all along. Oh, you think so? <laughs> we didn't get to see his decks. He's on the B stream. It was oh, probably okay. just total garb. I mean, to be honest, yeah. yesterday he just like took like two hundred euros from me in one pot. So. Oh my god. Yeah. All in before flop. Did you get your donation read on it. stream? What? Did you get your donation read on stream? What donation? Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, I see. No, 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 no. Oh. He didn't turn on his stream, though. Okay. You don't want to read what Alesh said when that happened, <laughs> man. <laughs> he revered it, too. It was kind of yeah. sad. Mm. But, um, yeah, I think Forsen is doing pretty well in poker right now. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Um... Well, I mean, we have we have a group starting up here. Yep, we, we're going to see uh, Nimsh versus uh, Johnny Druid. Johnny Druid. Nobody in the world knows who Johnny Druid is, but y you guys will soon find out. Yeah, yeah. He's Polish. He's, um, he is a Polish player that went through the qualifier, so yep. I'm excited to see how well he plays here today. Uh, he is the real unknown of this, the true dark horse of this yeah, tournament. Yeah, he didn't even have his photo up on the player listing yeah. on the website. Well, this is his first like real event. So yeah. I mean, Impact qualified and Oskaka qualified, but like every pro pretty much knew them. Yeah. Uh, mm. But this is the real, real unknown, as you said. Yep. All right, let's see it. It's going to be a pally to start here against, against uh, the mech mage. Okay, so uh, and it looks like okay, the bans were looks like Hunter was banned for Johnny. Oh wait, yeah, maybe this yeah. is switched uh, because Johnny didn't bring Hunter. Right? There's no Hunter under Johnny. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's true. It's got a claw. It's like a beast. Oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. help. Whatever. I can help you out. Please. Yeah, Nimshus, Nimshus Hunter so, is banned. Johnny yeah, Druid, Druid was banned. Well, I think you would have to ban yeah. if he named himself after Yeah, if, if you name yourself Druid, you probably just banned a Druid, right? Yeah. There's no Hunter in Nimsh's name. Yeah, but he's Nimsh. He just cheeses people out of tournaments. That's how he plays. Okay. The thing is, the thing is, is like, if you think about Nimsh, you just have to think, what deck is he going to play Leopard Gnome in, right? Zoo. Hello. And then you just find out, okay, he doesn't play Warlock, so no Zoo. So Hunter, you just have to ban but now Hunter, like Leprenome is there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, seeing a lot of, of Hunter play recently. It's exciting, right? Mm -hmm. Just go face Smork. Oh, I don't want to talk because I don't want to. I don't want to reveal his super secret deck strats and that kind of stuff. Who? Nimsh? Yeah. You know yeah. about Nimsh's decks? Oh, I know, yeah. I know no, about he's Hunter. actually talking to us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know too. Uh, okay, probably a lot of people know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He's a loud mouth. He's probably told everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what's going on. I don't know. I feel like but, uh, yeah. but I mean no. looking at this hand, it looks like Johnny should be completely fine, right? Looks like he has enough to deal with everything. Yeah, the yep. um, uh, the mini bot mini bot is really really strong. It's something you really want to drop. Yeah. And hey, he has you a just, master you just take to follow your tempo. it up. Take huh? the tempo away from the mage or the mini bot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's totally. super important. I mean, then the master is mm. important. You also have like a glide if you need it. But there's a blast mage in Nimsh's hand, so he's gonna have some stuff to play around. Yeah, if that he gets well. good hits on blast mage, mm -hmm. then that can turn everything right back around. That card is Why do you think crazy. Shield the Minibot took so long to play? I think he's really probably trying to concentrate. You think? Uh, you think a dude into a muster finish off the Cogsmith was a uh, good? I he, mean, he, was, it, he might have think about it. Yeah, you mm. could do that, but like. There's like no card that what just straight up do? kills the shield of minibot right do? now. Yeah, no, no minibot is just too strong. I yeah. mean, I, I everyone on this couch and Johnny who did it would have played mini the shield minibot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would have played strong. a quality so that my dude straight <laughs> kills him the next turn. So yeah, yeah, next turn you can no, so you can, can just muster. play muster and yeah. kill the Koga master, right? That's pretty sick, actually. That's, that's just insane. well, I don't play muster until oh, turn wonder. five, so I can also do that turn because why get three dudes when I can get one for free? So, no, if here actually is a really important question here. Like, do you kill the Snow Chugga or do you just kill the Coke Master? I kind of like killing the Snow Chugga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Agreed. I, mean, I like it. You get if, rid of the yeah, uh, mech, you, right? You, you need to muster this turn, and if, if you muster, oh, then you your weapon is not going to matter this turn, and it's not going to be used after that because of the Snow Chugga. Yeah, yeah. And also, you're open to Blast Mage with coin, so. 
Um, and then with no mechs out, you at least have like a few units the next turn. I guess exactly. you could also just acolyte. You could kill the cogsmith and acolyte. Yeah, that's fine too. Like you kind of get chance to look for your options, but I don't really like it because you have true him. silver. Yeah. You have true silver. Yeah, yeah. You muster here. Yeah. He yeah you get rid of the Chaga. Chaga is going to be so annoying if you yeah. don't get rid of it. I must move quickly. It does have uh, a pretty decent follow-up play with the um, spider tank still. Yeah. Not too shabby. I mean, Nimsh's hand isn't really as... Oh, was he thinking about going face? No. Uh, I think this was just like... Uh, the mouse slipped. Mouse slipped, yeah, maybe. Mind games. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you spider tank here, do you kill the mini bot or...? I mean, you can, uh, like, there's no question, like, Quartermaster isn't going to come out turn after, but, like, in two turns. I, I come, like right? killing the mini bot because it guarantees, as far as the board's concerned, that you have a mech next turn next for next your turn, blast yeah. mage. I like it. What to do? What to okay, do? Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. No, it does. Okay. He's frozen. Yeah, that's a freeze word. All's good. I don't know. It could have quality. <laughs> yeah. He mm -hmm. could, he could. Yeah, he could. Doubt it. But, um, I mean, oh, from this play, you kind of read into the Blast Mage, but the Acolyte's just good enough. Yeah, yeah. Either way, you would do that. I suppose you could equality, actually. Yeah, you could. I mean... It's not actually the worst play. It's not the worst play. Like, you make another dude, right? Um, I then your opponent really has to be kind of scared of your Quartermaster because mm. of the equality like hero if, power. If we actually look at Nimsh's hand, he has no mechs and like some really weird stuff right now. Yeah, yeah okay, so the equality would pay off, but looking at the situation... It doesn't seem like the best player. Yeah, yeah, it really doesn't. You kind of really want to keep that equality for that consecration combo and yeah. stuff like that. So... Or, you know, it would be good at here, least for... You know that the mage will rally at some point. That's exactly. just how mage works, so... You need to see if that equality, I think. And uh, the more I actually look at it, the more I like equality, actually. Because you have true silver next turn to mm -hmm. just deal with any one, like, four ish. Yeah, like you could kill a Yeti and stuff easily. People don't play Yetis. Oh. So it seems like he's going to just yeah, they play true the mechanic silver. Yeti. No, they don't. Huh? Yeah, people yeah, 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 you usually run one Yeti. yeti. One, like, yeah. one mechanical Yeti in builds. Yeah, I've sometimes. seen mech Yetis quite often today, actually. I've seen, like, okay. Okay. two or three players okay. playing. Yeah. 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 So here, there's no question about Blast Mage. I think Blast Mage comes out, you know, just comes on the board straight away. Mm. Hopefully kills, hopefully for Nimsh, uh, kills all of those minions. And as it does, yeah. go face. Well, he's Blast Mage. I mean, yeah, it's always gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a counter to master straight yeah. up. I so think you just play Harrison here. Mm. Mm. You could go Harrison. I don't. Uh, I don't like. I agree like with Harrison. Sure. Yeah. No, I don't either. It doesn't actually do anything. Not exactly. You just like. How do you deal that one damage to the three four? You don't. Yeah. Um, Harrison, I really do prefer Harrison there. I, have to say. I mean, there's some mind games that Nimsh could play Blinktron, so he keeps it for the Blinktron weapon. We did see Blinktron today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, like some people play it. I mean, um, mm -hmm. number guy played it. I think uh, who played it as well in the group. Uh, who was it? Gara? Gar I think my Gara. It might have been. My Gara. I don't I remember. So. Who was it then, Crypt? Someone played it today. Or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, probably saw that someone's know. playing Blinktron out there. All I can think about Blinktron right now is that that highlight from yeah. <laughs> the top, top, top deck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was so the top funniest deck portal lead into Blinktron, into Gorhal, into Fireball, ping for exact lethal. <laughs> it was just Sick. the sickest. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is funny and lucky moments. Man. Funny lucky moments. Trollins? Yeah. Yeah. So funny. So this is gonna be as well scientist, I guess. Yeah. Just so that's on board. I'll show them all. It's kinda like questionable here, like he didn't have to play the coin with scientist. You don't build enough board and your board kinda dies. But you might want to keep the I coin for Alkanai. I don't know. It's tough. Alkanai? You mean for Antonidas? Antonidas, Antonidas. What did I say? Alkanai. Alkanai. <laughs> you might want to keep it for Ancient of Lore. <laughs> like, yeah, Ancient I guess you, you might want to keep it for uh, Ancient of Lore. Yeah, I, I, I want to say Antonidas. I want to say Antonidas. You might want to keep it for Neptulonian. Mm. I'm like, well, I, I mean, we're getting pretty far out there, right, Alash? I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I'm not pretty. Even participating in this. Uh, yeah. uh, 
Not so sure about that one, Alesh. <laughs> I don't think he has Neptalone. <laughs> I, I don't think he has Neptalone. In his stack, to be honest. He might, you know. Unstable portal, portal man. Exactly. Yeah. Unstable portal. Could be playing anything. Could be. Oh, the spider tank is a really huge draw. Uh, like, there's no way you're going to deal with a Terrasian, so might as well just get the spare part. Um, yeah. Something needs tinkering? Hopefully gets a stealth. A taunt is decent. It's not yeah, too you great. can taunt something else in front of the Archmage. Yeah. So yeah. the question here is, you can actually just destroy your own mad scientist just to get, you know, uh, counter the Tyrion that can come out after this. Right? It's okay. It stops yeah. him from trading and getting another one off. So I think that's like definitely better than two life points. Definitely. You can counter like the Doctor Boom that could come out, Tyrion that could come out, you know, because the Tyrion would be a cheaper. Mm. We don't see any of those cards in his end, but it's always a possibility. Huh. I think I think uh, Acolyte True Silver might be decent. Mm. Darson goes in the, into Acolyte the, and True Silver goes into the Harrison, mech. Good Harrison True Silver. The, uh, the Acolyte uh. would. What do you guys think of actually going Muster True Silver? Because that sets you up for like a very strong equality as well if you need to. Because you're going to eventually set off this mirror entity as well. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too okay. bad. Yeah. It's mm. like. Thing is, if you give him the Acolyte, like suddenly he's. Yeah. Got a draw engine going. He's at 27 I just, health. I just like uh, keeping the Tharson. Oh, yes. okay. So you mean uh, whack the Acolyte with the, the sword? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. No, no, like no, that. no, no, no. no, no. You, you, you kill whack the Acolyte Tharson. with Tharson. So Tharson has two Yeah, no, that's what, yeah, that's what I meant. And I'd even kill the mech rather than the 4-4 four, four yeah, creature. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. The mech there. Oh, I think we all can agree on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's going to go for this. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty good. Okay. I don't think this is a bad play at all. I, I think you've convinced me, though, Crip. I like that play. I mean, it, there's a still question. He could actually just go face with a Terrison, right? There's like a million people coming up with ice cream from downstairs. Yeah. Oh. Everyone has fun except the casters. We just sit on this couch and cast. Ripping pepperonis. Yeah. Mm. What to do? So the Mech Warper isn't really too exciting draw. Um, I think Nimsh was hoping for a Mirror Entity to be proc'd last turn. It didn't happen, so he needs to keep his second murder entity still in hand. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Not really happy about it. The Antonidas with Taunt isn't going to be too great either, mm. probably, with the e equality we see there. So this is going to be actually a really hard time for him if he wants to win this game. Mm. Let the pain oh, I mean, we'll see. Me. It's Those fireballs are pretty crazy. Sure, sure. So he can actually think about equality here. Um, no. Probably not. If you were going to equality, you'd do it uh, before playing your Acolyte. Also, I love equality uh, KT. Yeah. It's like such a sick combo. Mm -hmm. Clear their board and you just still have your whole thing. And he could even do that as early as next turn. But I would say you definitely have to kill the 1-3 here. Yeah. Because if he can just draw two cards off that next turn, what are you going to do? Hello. Like, right now, you know that your opponent has only two cards because his third one is his spare part, right? So he's kind of, like, resource-starved. Yeah. Um, he probably has something really expensive in his end yeah. that he didn't want to play last turn. So it's probably going to be Antonidas. You could actually scenario. almost put him yeah. on exactly what he exactly, has. Like, exactly, exactly. So I can think the range is actually Mirror Entity, Antonidas, and, like, Fireball. Fireball, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so, too. Anything like, else. You straight yeah. up, you straight up, no, I, th I feel like he needs, he should know that uh, name is just Antonidas in hand. Because yeah. Dr. Boom would be there, uh, already on board, right? Yeah. Um, and this, uh, the card other than you wouldn't play would be just like Fireball, Frostbolt, mm -hmm. and Entity. Totally. So... Why do I hear Frodo? He's, he's got a very loud and booming voice. He's like coming, caster. coming through, you know? Yeah. Whoa. And he has ice cream as well. Oh, yeah, no. he's but casting his, his ice cream feasting. Mm -hmm. Well, at this tournament, he's actually a, not a not a caster. Yeah. He's actually a player at this tournament. So this is Was a, really a player. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this is really interesting. That um, uh, what's it's the name is so hard. Uh, Genie Druid. Johnny it's Druid. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Druid. Okay. Johnny, Johnny Druid. And he didn't kill the Acolyte, which I'm not really sure if it was a correct play. He just gave so much more resources to Nimsh. Yeah. Yeah. And. Two more cards is just yeah. insane. It's insane. This is oh, oh, look, and he can play three minions this time. And this is too. a really big deal, too, because, like, yeah. from Clockwork Gnome, uh, you get another spare part. Yeah. And you have Antonidas in hand. So the Clockwork Gnome seems really, really good here. Yeah. And 
yeah, he gets it for free. Uh, I don't think he's gonna play Rusty Horn. He needs to keep the spare part for. Uh, yeah, he's not in tomatoes. danger anyways. Like, exactly. There's there is no sort of combo here. Combo. Mm, combo. Equality. Keltuzad. Actually, a quality Keltuzad is amazing. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. Damn. I think you probably pop the four three first though. Yeah, yeah, you probably. Pop. Mm. Yeah, just pop mm. it with your five four because it doesn't matter, and then you equality KT. Yeah. That's like the the best play by like. I mean, you can miles. equality kill it with the one one, and then whatever comes out, you st kill, still can kill, right? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Um, Wait, is there anything that costs? Yeah, no, nothing. Costs no, 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 no. Higher even 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 the Asian Watcher, you can kill, right? So what if what if he gets a patient assassin? True, true. Oh, this actually really did mess him up. No, it didn't. No. He can't play Keltuzad now. No, he can't. Oh, he he's can actually. Yeah, he's gonna kill it. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Oh, it's okay. Um, this is such a good play. This is a really good song. Really, really, really good turn. Yeah, there's that concept. <laughs> Never matched up in this tournament. No, no. Doesn't work. No. That is such a good move. I I stopped running KT in all my uh, Ali decks because I never get this to happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I dream about it. But the question here is, like, does it matter though? Yeah, he's like, still kind of lose. Uh, yeah, he's still. You're probably gonna, maybe gonna just lose, right? Because he's gonna Antonidas, Freezer, kill to Zad. Yeah. Um, mm. Then he's probably just gonna taunt up the Antonidas. It's 12 damage, and then all you need is like uh, one fireball. You have three draws, four draws, maybe even. Um, it's gonna be actually still pretty interesting. Thing is, that mad scientist is completely worthless. So yeah, yeah. Um, mm. I would definitely sag the acolyte first. I would just try to get just see what it is. Yeah, just get a card. You know, you'll get more information. What do you do, mm -hmm. what you should do? Are you sure? Like attack and face of the acolyte might give you a little bit of extra damage. Ooh, true, that's true. actually a good point because you're grabbing two fireballs and 15 is actually much more doable. But, but the thing is, the thing is, like you will yeah. not have three turns. You will not have three turns, so you will not have time to ping three times. With so freeze, you might have three turns. Uh, well, the thing is, if he doesn't, he can always kill off KT with the fireball. True, so true. he's he's got a lot to play with. I think I would draw off this, though, personally. I would still draw, yeah. Well, the thing is, you can draw next turn as well. It's not like this guy's getting silenced. Mm -hmm. so. so this is going to be the freeze on Keltuzad. And That was a really fast switch of opinion. Well, I, the thing is, I like the draw, but you get the draw next turn. This turn, no matter what you draw off that... Yeah, I know. It's like yeah. So just yeah. True. There you go. Yeah. All right, good. Good. All right. We're all agreed. We're all, <laughs> we all agreed. agreed. So this is probably just going to be like... Uh, Attack Consecration, stuff. kill to... Z uh, Quartermaster, right? No, forget Consecration. Who cares about Consecration? I like Consecration here. I don't, I don't even know if... Oh, you like Consecrate Quartermaster? Yeah. Consecrate Quartermaster. Okay. Then you just mm. put seven damage on the face. It's like a lot of damage. You, you just put pressure. You want to put pressure because you know that he has double fireball. You have no heal, so you need to kill him fast. That, that's mm. the idea behind it, right? You just put him like, you just deal nine damage. I don't like this. Mm. Yeah, I like that. That's a good card. That's a good card. <laughs> but mm. That card is good at Hearthstone. <laughs> well, I mean, by putting that out there, you kind of also put him in a... A funny situation, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the not thing gonna. Is, the thing is, yeah, it's even, not gonna matter. Even though. with a consecrate, if you do one less damage, you draw an extra card with acolyte. Don't you think one damage is worth a card? Put your faith in the. I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, you, you might be right. Like the more aggressive play may have been better. Maybe before drawing Tyrion, I suppose. Yeah. But still. Oh wait, if he plays minibot, doesn't some minions don't come out? No, it's just enough. Yeah. Okay. That's exact. So the Blast Mage might be interesting in here. Um, I don't see any uh, interest in that. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have any mech. No, yeah, he doesn't have mech. So he needs to draw. Definitely needs to draw first. Then it might be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus 5, 23. <laughs> it's lethal next turn. Lethal so next easy. Turn. So easy. Does he? Yeah. Super easy. That Tyrion's an issue. Hmm. So you have to as a Drake, right? Oh. No, you can't. No, you can't. You die if you Azure. He has exactly. He, he has right Frostbolt. Now. He can get Frostbolt. Just 
I think you actually have to like fireball. Double fireball, fireball, fireball. Keltuzad. KT, yeah, KT. you have to double fireball mm. KT. But then you can't win. I think that's not a correct play. I think you have to just go for Azure Drake, um, get a Frostbolt, get a Frostbolt. Uh, and then freeze KT. Free freeze KT. And. Uh, drop yeah, because I mean, the double fireball on KT is not a win. Yeah, move. you cannot win <laughs> from that point. So I think you need yeah, to Azure right. Drake into Frostbolt and draw Frostbolt afterwards. Like, you have to have two Frostbolts. Oh, almost. Almost. Now they're gonna cut it down. Yeah. So maybe he'll play a taunt. Yeah. Oh wait, he can't. So you kill it. So it's. Why did the dude have to die? I don't. I think like he feels like he lost anyway, so oh, he just man, he didn't think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he actually had exactly. So he didn't have over lethal because mm -hmm. you can't play the quartermaster if he had no creatures to kill the suicide into. Yeah, that's true. If the mage had one more life, I think he, I think it actually would have won this game. Yeah, I agree. Two arms, hmm. men. One more health. That was it, unbelievably close, even though it may yeah. not have seemed yeah, that yeah. way. Well, that's been like the story of mage uh, mm -hmm. in this tournament thus far. Just like really silly games where the mage looks like it's like super duper dead, but it's like one spell away or one life away of mm -hmm. winning the game. All right, so uh, Johnny Druid in his first real big uh, tournament takes down his countryman Nimsh in the first game. There's quite a few poles at these tournaments, man. What are the Polish people in poles in are like Kurtz, into esports. Yeah, it is big in Poland. Seriously, mm -hmm. there's like there's yeah, a few countries out here. I've, 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 yeah, I've seen them in uh, a few of the games. I don't remember which ones. Oh yeah, no, they're they've like historically been ridiculously good at like RTS games, mm -hmm. FPS games. Like they're just. Virtus Great Pro, gamers. for example, like, yeah. Yeah, they're really cool. Okay, good stuff. They're they're like super super legit. So, all right, that's where it comes Katowice from, right? Like, yeah, that's it's the, like the one event of the best is so huge. Of the year. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, so what do we have right now? So, so Nimsh has G Johnny uh, Droid has Warrior Warlock. Yeah, and then yeah. of course Nimsh has that Mech Mage and Druid mm. and Warrior. Warrior. Yeah. Druid and Warrior. I think Nimsh has uh, some chance of bringing a more aggressive warrior than everyone else's control warrior that we've seen. You think he might be playing uh, your warrior deck? Everybody get in here? Yeah. Uh, mine's, <laughs> mine's like at the start. is probably like a better version by now. But no, probably not. No. I hope so, though. No, I don't think so. I think Frodan was the only one that brought that deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, did he? Yeah, he actually did bring it. Oh, man. But he actually never ended up using it. Uh. Right. Fred actually let me down. I was betting 20 euros on him that he's going to win against Lothar. Nope. Worse. You haven't won anything, what? have you? I, what? With all the bets, all yeah, the you just are, stuff. You better win this to break even. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I mean, I lost like on flip a card with Amas, I lost 20 euro. On betting on Froden, I lost 20 euro. In poker, I lost like 150. So I need to at least get top eight. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you really do. Yeah, rip. Imagine Good how money. rich you'd be if you just didn't bet on things. Right, right. I don't bet where's on fun in that? Where's fun in that? It's, a, it's actually a lot <laughs> of fun to be like us, where we just like laugh at you losing. <laughs> oh, true, a true. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. So we actually jump. That's a back. lot of fun. You know, you know. Don't talk about me anymore, please. Okay, okay. <laughs> like jump in back into the game. So this seems like it's gonna be demon lock against a droid. I love mm. these intros. So seems like a demon lock. Yeah. It looks like <laughs> <laughs> Really? Does it? Hmm. No, I think it's I think this is Zoo with a heel bot. Yeah, my be. and Jaraxus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, sounds legit. Right, so hold on. This is uh Okay, so Johnny is playing the warlock. Mm-hmm. Nimsh is playing the druid. I actually like Nimsh choosing Druid here. Seems mm -hmm. like it's okay against both these decks for sure. So for example, like uh uh yeah. So, what I actually think, like, um, seems like when I play Droid demon against Demon Lock, mm -hmm. I feel like Droid is favorite, but Sexo, who made this deck, uh, he tells me that he really likes to play against Droid with Demon Lock. So, I'm not really sure about this matchup. I personally like it against Druid, but most pros I've talked to think that Druid is just fine or slightly winning against mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. it's just one of those matchups. There's a lot of matchups like that where pros are really super divided. Yeah, I agree. So I think it might be like a comfort thing. 
I think we probably just need to go ask like Firebat what his stats say. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's <laughs> going to have that. like this whole sheet about it. He's like, oh yeah, I actually looked into that. It turns out that uh, it's 5149. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 51. <laughs> Well, so it's fifty-one point zero five to forty. The MC Tech in the Druid is is a little bit weird. Like we mostly see that in the slower Druid decks. Uh, he's trying to counter uh, counter uh, the, 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 the Mech Mage. Yeah. So it, like, it, I think he actually just got this deck I mean, straight if, from Strife Crow. So. If you actually MC Tech something on a Mech Mage board, you're probably still dead. dead. Well, you have to have more than just that okay, as your yeah. counter tech. But I think that's what it is. Is He's trying to like have yeah. this be a Drew that can kind of beat anything, even Mech Mage. Yeah. So what he's thinking right now, Nimsh, is that like this actually might be a zoo. Like Nimsh's uh, thought process is that like he played Egg on turn two, and this is gonna bite him in the ass. Because yeah, but if you played Egg on turn two, you have the worst draw ever, and you don't need to play this anyways, right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, well, I guess you would if it's Zoo because Zoo kills Druid so hard, but if he's playing stuff like Mind Control Tech, I, I don't like this move. Yeah, I don't like this move either. I mean... I right guess now, Malganus is somewhere in the middle of the deck. He's like, ha, 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 ha. I think I actually like the Void Caller. You can't really afford to play uh, Doom Guard with this deck. Yeah. Yep. So like, there's really no better. I mean, okay, there's right better. I mean, there's he better can creatures. he can actually just like also implosion. Maybe just like force the swipe something like that. Oh yeah, uh, you know that's not too bad. That's not too I bad. I don't really like implosion too much. Mm. I would like to save implosion till after a swipe, but because yeah. they always have one swipe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think implosion is the second best play. Yeah. The thing that I like about the implosion here is that like if you played here. He cannot play anything else. He just needs to swipe, right? Because uh, if he doesn't swipe, everything is going to die just to imps. Yeah. So then you can clearly play just the white color, and you're like in such a good spot if he plays the swipe anyway. You can, uh, he could mind control tech. You can mind control, control tech, tech, double innervate swipe. Ooh. That's a lot of resources to spend. And yeah, this is funny. This is because from, uh, from Johnny Druid, it actually looks like a zoo. It actually looks like a zoo right now. Mm. Because yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying. It does, kind of. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess he thinks there's better places to mind control tech, but will we see four minions out again? <laughs> <laughs> Don't think so. Oh, we might, we might. Mm -hmm. oh, you can't use that one anymore. <laughs> well, well, he can actually double scenarios. integrate out the scenarios. Yeah. That's pretty That's sick. That's pretty sick. It's it's quite good because um, usually when you use scenarios, your opponent's just mm -hmm. gonna try to play more stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. you might actually land that MC tech that you otherwise. Yeah, would. that's true. Yeah. And imagine he gets an MC tech on like Doom Guard or something. How sick would that be? Um. Yeah, I don't think you trigger it yourself. So. Oh, do you know what he could do here? You can actually just go Shadow Flame this three four, and then clear the scenarios. Uh, um. Nah. Huh. Yeah, you can. You can, I know but math. like, <laughs> I, I mean, you of. can do it, but I don't know if it's worth it. That's what I mean. But I he just used two innervates on that, right? Yeah, but so I mean, you, you yeah, can, you can shadow flame the egg, too. You can abusive shadow flame the egg and just go face. Okay, okay. Do you have a 3, 4, 4, 4, two, 5, 6? If it dies, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like that. Um... I definitely think thing that like Shadow Flame is the play here. Like, I think like actually when I think about it, your play Arthrosis is pretty good too. Yeah. It, um, the thing is, he has so many more cards, and with two Innervates already gone, so and the fact that he only has exactly. three left in hand, I'm just like, I I feel like giving three cards for three cards right here is like a very good move. I just don't like the two health Doom Guard. Yeah. Just dice. Yeah, but e even so, Keeper. like if he has to use another card to get rid of that, it, um. Then it's suddenly four cards for three in your advantage, and you have a much bigger hand, right? Mm -hmm. so. I think still, like, Abyssus Surge and Shadow Flame is probably the better. Yeah, I, I, I think you're probably right about that. Uh, but it, it, like, it made... Ooh. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. What this means, though, is that, like, he most likely won't be able to play Emperor turn afterwards. Like, he could, but... It really depends what Nimsh has to say. What? And Nimsh doesn't really have a good hand. Oh, man. I just wa I just saw it. Nimsh's hand is actually pretty bad. Needs to red for one here. 
Mm. Red swipe. All right. Right that's now he's just hoping Malganus doesn't come down. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't, so that's good. But it's it still not, looks like... Yeah, it it's not much better. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, I, I guess it's not Malganus. It's, I guess it's Malganus. Yeah. I mean, Malganus would be maybe better, so we could, like, hopefully draw into BGH or something. <laughs> uh, no. I think I like the Dark Bomb use here mm -hmm. rather than Implosion. Oh, no, he actually used both swipes. Implosion is great. Yeah, Implosion is really good. Um, so if you, enemy, if you it can really also tap fails, it, which is pretty good. If it really fails, you can Dark Bomb as well. Yeah. I don't like Argus because I think if you if you develop a big board in Argus, it's like just complete shutdown mode for the Druid. So I think whatever you do, you just want to save Argus. Yeah, you want to save... Mm. Like, what is really good against Druid is just like Argus or Implosions, right? And that's really, really strong. So I think... I mean, he might be scared that he would just implode for two. That's why you should implosion before tap in, right? Then you can like finish it with Dark Bomb. It's kind of inefficient if you have to do it, but the chances are like only 33%. So it might be worth the risk. Okay. Um, well, from this stage of the game, you have to play quite defensively. You have to account for uh, just some crazy combo possibilities to just stay in yeah, the safest yeah. mode possible. And, um, man, that Doctor Room looks so tempting. Like, seven mana crystals, it's like he's just glowing out of that hand. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's basically standing on those on those bombs, just like a little bit higher up in the hand than the other cards. Like, he certainly is. Yeah. But it's it just doesn't work, I think. I mean, the good thing for Genai Droid here is that like he knows that Nims already use double innervate. Yeah. So there can't be innervate combo. Yeah, there's no death next turn. Yeah. But he need to be. And he has, a, I mean, he has a taunt giver and life gain in there, so he can go into like emergency mode. I think I would go Emperor maybe. Yeah, I like Emperor. I just just like because Emperor like he can dig himself out of almost any hole with Emperor. Exactly. Your, your, like, your anti heal is going to cost 4 mana, right? Your uh, Defender of Argus is going to cost like 3 mana, so Emperor is pretty sweet here. Dr. Boom is always sweet on turn 3. It's on turn 7, so on <laughs> turn 3. On turn 7. It's very good on turn 3. You're very right about that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's actually quite usual, PGH. too. Like, it happens yeah. to me on letter every fifth game against Druid. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Counter Boom against this, which might be pretty strong. Hmm. I guess you have to I do it. I feel like I'm like playing DDR again. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know that? Yeah. You used to play DDR? DDR? Yeah. What is that? Dance Dance Revolution? Oh, oh it's like well, you dance on those like platforms yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. arrows and stuff. You guys don't remember no. Boom Boom Dollar? I, I've, ah, no I've seen people play that game. But yeah, I was yeah not I've seen people play playing. it too. You look like a. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I struggle yeah. with the basics. Boom versus boom. Counter boom. Yeah, so he goes yellow phase. I mean, it makes sense. Um, from what he's seen, he's not going to expect any molten giants, to be honest. It still kind of looks like uh, zoo, with like demonish zoo, because he played the white color there. But apart from that, he didn't see any demon lock cards mm. yet. He didn't see any belchers, he didn't see like any shadow flames, right? That kind of stuff. So he might still think it's zoo with Dr. Boom. Nah. I don't know. Yeah, we're, I don't, I don't know. We're, yeah. the, we're pushing it right now. Yeah, I'm pushing it. I maybe, yeah. I'm maybe pushing it. I think it's just a bit of a shame he doesn't have uh, like a power realm or something, because he he has the shadow flame here. He's yeah. He's like one mana off of what he needs. This he turn. basically like he needs the shadow flame and he needs the Argus, but he might not have those boom bots. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And if he doesn't have the boom bots, it's terrible. But if he takes eight, that's from terrible. Like, also, yeah, it's really well, terrible. Well, both swipes are gone, so like, that's something. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm actually surprised about that one. He's not scared of combo, or he believes in his booms, boom bots. All right. Okay. Hey, that was that was reasonable boom bots. Yeah, turn oh, Yeah. Good. I know he's just implosion. Okay, yeah. that was he did a good job there. Cleared the board, got two taunts. But he was still do I had the combo. He still does yeah. combo. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
good thing for him is that Nimish doesn't have a combo, so it's probably just gonna be lore for draw. Um, yeah. I think all the plays actually died a combo now that I think about it. Yeah. I mean, there's a single play that plays around it. So this is gonna be Asian on the floor draw. Here we're gonna have to start really, really playing heal bots. Mm -hmm. And it's not really too juicy. He can't even do anything with this hero power. Mm. Well, he's got plenty of life to play with. Oh, oh my oh god! Oh 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 wow. Okay. That is so crazy. This is huge. It plays around combo as well. I think I just yeah. play that. Yeah. yeah, you just play that. It plays around combo. It buffs up your dudes. Like, oh my god. You kill the lore. No biggie. Oh my god. Yeah. That is so insane. That is really. <laughs> I cannot believe he just drew that on nine. And it was after a four <laughs> implosion as well. And he greets him! He oh. greets him! Yep. Okay, so the Malganis, will we see that? Oh! Ooh. Never lucky. Baby rage. Mm. Imagine if he had gotten that Malganis. Oh, that would be so crazy sick. That would be. be so sick. That would be like the greatest steal of all time. He could actually could just win the game from there. Like if he st stole the Malganis, right? Mm. He can still win. Yeah, um, it's, he can still win. Like it's not impossible. I'm just saying yeah. like if he... Oh. Wait a minute, it's... It's like super possible with a big game. <laughs> yeah, with a BGH if he draws it right now. Yeah, yeah. next turn I think he can draw it. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Did you set up a taunt here? I guess you. Oh, hmm. this is. Actually, good. no, I think it's gone. Because I think from Nimshin's standpoint, he's like, I can still win this. But if we look at. If we look at Johnny's hand, it's. Uh, yeah, but he's gaining 16 life next turn, yeah. isn't he? Exactly. Yeah, I guess you're right. He is. No, no, he isn't gaining 16. He's just gaining 8 and Boucher. <laughs> it's like even better, I think. Like so strong. And then you gain another life. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would actually like from Nemesis Temple, I would like Druid of the Claw a little bit better because then afterwards you can go for Emperor with. Uh, no. Nah. Yeah, you could like turn after you could go for Emperor with Shredder if he mm -hmm. went for Druid of the Claw now. So. Not really sure about it, but like everything we see, like this is gonna be Shadowfall. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Do that in some life game. Yeah. The counter combo. Just play Belcher. Wow. Okay. Wow. Don't normally see Malganus attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> new. <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. I mean, you don't usually see those implosions being so good as well, right? I mean, after four implosions, just top deck Malganis, turn yeah. nine, no biggie. It's pretty sick. You tap. I just uh, yeah. get some life here. Yeah. I'd tap. Yeah, there's no reason not to tap. Oh, like if you get a silence, you win. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's there it. You go in, yeah. yeah. That is lethal. That's six mana for four damage. Sounds like a shaman card. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. And uh, Johnny Druid is up 2 0 against Nymphs right now. Yep. That's I don't think crazy. Crazy. Oh. anybody expected that. No. Johnny has uh, his warrior left, and that, that gives Nymphs the edge just because he, he knows exactly what he's queuing into. But So Nymphs has to choose between Druid, Warrior, or Mage. We know uh, Mage is all right, Warrior is probably pretty close. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, they'd probably just go Druid you again, You think it'd go Druid? Yeah, why not? Just get a win. I think in that matchup, um, it's not really much better than Mech Mage. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I think th I think you're right. Like Either of those is fine, and he's already shown them both. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely go with one of those right now. You yeah. don't want to take the weird warrior coin flip. Yeah, I would go for Druid just to get more information. Uh, druid yeah. matchup is easy, right? And also you will find out if he, ch for example, plays Harrison Jones, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, if he'll he use plays Kazan Mystic. If, if he's he plays Kazan Mystic against the Mage, yeah, I mean it's not likely, but yeah, that's true. That's actually that's one thing just to check a little bit extra. Occasionally there is a, a Warrior deck with Kazan in mm -hmm. it. That could be very very useful to know. So the curve for uh, Johnny Druid is pretty good here. He has Armor Smith into Acolyte into Deathspite. Deathspite is a really, really important card for this matchup. Because he just... Ooh, the zombie shot though. 
Some beach race pretty good. We're gonna see the hands of Nemish pretty fast, so just wait with us a yeah. little bit. Yeah, gotta fix that real quick. Sorry, guys. I'll uh, I'll destroy the environment to make up for the entertainment loss. Okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, hit the, the griffin in the butt. Start off with that. It doesn't it, you can't piss him off anymore. Oh, you can't? No. Oh, he doesn't do the big screech anymore? No, he doesn't, like, follow your mouse cursor. He never did that. Did he? Well, I guess you don't really role play as hard as us. So. Yeah. No, I certainly do not. <laughs> yeah, you, you are very right about that, Kriparian. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he used to follow your mouse cursor after you pinned him in the head like six times. Wow, so that's cool. Why did they take that out? That sounds awesome. It's probably too distracting for new players. Yeah, yeah. The, the Hearthstone experience needs to be streamlined. So yes, it does. Uh, that just complicates the game yeah. way too much. <laughs> just like many other. You features know those that fireworks might, you might get when you win. I think you sense. should get that every time you play a minion. Mm -hmm. True, true. Just look at nice. Uh. But like, if we look at Nimrod's hand, Nimrod's hand is really, really good. We see yeah. Innervate into Shredder. Uh, all he needs is another minion. Like, if he gets a five drop, Asian mm. no floor. Asian yeah, no floor yeah. is going to be really important in the future. You really think Nimrod's hand is that good? If I mean, he gets an ancient start, lore, his like start, his start is really good. Like yeah. he has a lot of tempo. He needs at the some beginning. help right now, from mm -hmm. what I see. Let the pain speak to me. Well, yeah. I mean, let's see what he draws. Okay. Oh my god. It. Okay, that's decent. <laughs> yeah, it's not as good as it could be though. Like <laughs> actually, I would prefer an ancient lore. Yeah, right I, should, now. I would. Yeah, Druidal Claw maybe. Um, I think you still play it. Yeah. Why not? I think you have to kill the acolyte. Yeah, you have to kill the acolyte. If the warrior gets too many cards with an armorsmith already in play, suddenly a uh, combo may not make a difference. Yeah. I mean, you might not have to play it. Uh, you can just like play mind control tech. Uh, because like if you make your hand cheaper, you don't really make your stuff cheaper. You're yeah, it's like, like open to dead spite. You're open to dead spite. Uh, I that's think maybe just the mind control though, tech like, would be better. Like yeah, he dies to death spite, but so does the armor smith. And you're still hidden away. Yeah, uh, I guess. You still have a lot of me. Yeah, you have still pressure on board. Yeah, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I, I think he like he had to do that because he doesn't want to have such a weak turn. But I mean, this guy always dies right when he comes out. Anyways, yeah. no it just what. sucks that his hand is kind of like. Oh, a two mana mind control tech sick. <laughs> Three yeah, mana I mean, swipe if, against warrior. Yeah. If you're the warrior here, you have to give him credit for like combo pieces, and you're probably yeah. pissing your pants. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And I mean, this is not the the ideal turn for for warrior. Yeah, throwing away the armor smith and death spite, and still being behind. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. But he'll be fine. I mean, he'll come right back out of that. Yeah, I mean, he's his turn six is gonna be pretty good, right? Yeah. Uh, next turn, turn is probably pretty, fine. yeah, exactly with Echolite. So, no biggie. Yeah, Johnny just being very careful about this. I mean, it makes sense. Just like, you know, a lot of mistakes I used to do in tournaments like this was because I was nervous and I played fast. Yeah. yeah. And if, if you're like, even like if you're new to this, uh, it's better to just play slowly, I think. So I think this is right. really MC Tech to do. Hero Power. Follow up low thub. <laughs> face, face, face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there smart. is. He really needs to draw into Ancients of Lore. Like, not right now, but in a couple mm -hmm. turns. He needs it so bad. I mean, low thub is going to be pretty sick. Um, and Dr Warrior is getting quite low right now. So that's another thing going for you, right? Mm hmm. It's also like the turns kind of suck. Mm -hmm. You take a lot of damage. Like, I mean, Zombie Cho is in there, but you don't want to kill the Zombie Cho right now. I think you might want to kill the Zombie Cho right now. Yeah, maybe. Even. Are you that afraid? Well, it, it could be just Savage sure. Roar. Yeah, Savage Roar would probably kill you in a lot of situations. Like, I I just think that like super aggressive uh, Tharson play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're ma saying. Makes I think it I agree. like. It's really like, sketchy. yeah, I, I might not want to kill the zombie chow, but yeah. if I don't, um, I think I might die I'll agree in, in a honest. match that you, you know, can actually could just otherwise brawl. go on ten more turns. Yeah. What do you think if you Especially just brawl? Especially with that big hand. If you just brawl? Brawl's okay. Yeah, I like brawl maybe. Yeah, you know what? In that few cards in hand, you're probably not getting mm -hmm. a better brawl. True. I also don't mind Acolyte and hitting this chow, though, because you have a decent chance to draw into something for two mana that can kill another guy off. Yeah. So, 
There's a few pretty I, decent options. I think. I think. I think the acolyte the most. Yeah. The acolyte is. The thing is, I think I would probably talk myself into the brawl. Yeah, I would talk myself into the brawl too, because yeah. I, I would be too scared, I think. Okay, so he plays around the Savage or a little bit at least. Uh, and then okay. kills the 3 3. And that may not have been armor there. Mm -hmm. Well, if he dropped that axe, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You charge it? Yeah. I think you low tap. I don't think you need to charge it right now, right? Um, you can charge it next turn anyway. Hmm. Can't wonder. you? Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Low tap is good. Yeah, I think low tap. Like, if you, if you just uh, don't low tap here, you lose one damage, which might not look like a lot, but um, it's quite a lot. And also, you just make the turns so much awkward, and you play better around like you know Belcher and stuff like that. So, which is nice for you as well. Is he dead? Well, if he 16. Belchers. Yeah, if he shield mains, he's dead. Yeah, if he shield mains, he's dead. He needs to bow, what? sure. No. And it's not hard to put him on a combo piece or a swipe or mm -hmm. something like yeah. that either. It's not very difficult. And just force of nature, right? It's okay, so I think he needs to bow, sure. Does he need to axe and get Doomsayer? Or that. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> That works too, yeah. <laughs> that works too. Actually, Fiery War Axe, Zombie Chow, and Armor Up does it as well. Yeah, that's pretty good too. But I mean. It's super weak on the board. Yeah. Like, it's really well, hard to catch up. And the Fiery what War if you Axe. Shredder, you don't even what if you use Shredder it from there? No, 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 it just doesn't no, do no. it. Yeah, yeah, it's too bad. It's gotta be Belcher. Wait, no, if he Shredders, he still has one health, right? Because there's nine, and. Uh, Nimsh is not gonna have a mana for hero power. So it would still survive. And you actually develop this shredder as well, but oh, this is better. Man. This is better. Nimsh is drawn pretty well here. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna have a fantastic turn seven, the best turn seven, some might say. You mean Doctor GG seven? Yeah. Yeah. Lucky, okay. lucky turn seven. I think he can just go swipe hero power. No. Yeah, I think swipe hero power is the play. Lothab goes into Belcher. You yeah. Swipe face. Hero and power. And then you the, hero power yeah. the remainder. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And that, that puts him at one. Yep. So Zombie Chow, you'd have to armor up what if you wanted to, like, melee the Zombie Chow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Whirlwind, one time. <laughs> I think a lot of warriors just got Whirlwind lately. Um, it makes the armor smiths a lot worse. Yeah, no, though. it's, yeah. it's uh, far fewer Whirlwinds. I, like, m I've only seen, like, one Whirlwind in a list recently. Yeah. I love double Whirlwind, though. It's like you just destroy all the aggro. It feels right. Yeah. It feels right. It, Warrior does what it's supposed to do. What do you think about the new world when it's coming out for Warrior? Um, I don't know which wink it's gonna be. Seems terrible. Wait, what is it? Uh, it's like for two mana whirlwind, but if you're uh, like thir 12 health or 14 health, you do three damage instead of one to every enemy. Every enemy, I think. Brawl time. Yeah, brawl time. I think best case shredder and you just armor up, leave alone. So what if Zombie just survives? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that's that hurts. bad. Yeah. That... So you need to tank wow. it. That's no, awesome, right? that's game. Yeah, it's game. It's, the swipe is gonna do it. Yep. I mean, if he hero powers, yeah, he's still dead. Yeah. So that's game. Well, all right. So Nimsh is gonna be able to take a, a game here. That was a uh, pretty dominant, but uh, it had a it had a lot of like very risky plays. Yeah, I it felt just, like it just kind of worked out for Nimsh in most of them. Johnny was maybe like a little bit greedy yeah. uh, during I mean, we, some we, of those we moves. Have, we have to go back and realize that zombie Chow played on turn one, died on turn seven to a brawl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. That is um like fourteen damage and gains five. So that's nine net for one mana. Yeah, that's pretty sick actually. And board presence. Yeah, and board presence. Oh and like another good thing about it was like I think the game could have looked different if the brawl was played turn five. Yeah, yeah like, I, I think that, that that was supposed to work. That them. turns out it was probably the best play, mm -hmm. but maybe killing the zombie chow would have been. Yeah, if he killed zombie chow well. instead of the mind control tech, yeah, maybe. The the little life boost there maybe would have given him the breathing mm -hmm. room to come back or something, but 
Uh, it was a good low thud by Nimsh as well. That was like pretty important. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that means that well, now Nim Nimsh can catch up. I mean, go he's, got, he's got his own warrior and a mage. You think he was very mage? doable? Yeah, yeah. It's doable. Take your take your mage win that is more likely, and then do the 50-50, and you know like every card in his deck by then probably or close mm -hmm. enough, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Like, uh, what mage does uh, Nimsh play? Uh, it's it's mech. It's oh, mech it's mech. But it it Archer's totally right in this in this fact. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just it, like when you play mage, you don't actually play around stuff most yeah. of the time. Sure. But when you're playing warrior versus warrior, you're always counting the control cards. Yes, sure, yes. Sure. So you, you just want to get more info. Everything. More yeah. info, yeah, definitely. Makes so sense. Like how because many? if if you're gonna win, you have to win the warrior matchup anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in conquest, the best thing to do is to get the most info you can get. Yeah. Indeed. So the clockwork gnome already for Nimsh. Um, that's all we see right now. I like how Artos is keeping a journal of the matches. That's right. Wow. It, it, tell me that the cast today is not more on top of who's playing what and what the score is. <laughs> it is. You're such a tryhard. That's all me right there. I was unhappy yesterday when I was like, wait, you won already, Powder? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? That was embarrassing, Crip. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, Ar so Armorsmith is a uh, really strong play here. Mm. Probably just gonna flow up with like Snow Chugga, go face. Uh, good thing for Nimsh is that uh, Johnny Droid doesn't have a weapon unless he draws into it, right? Yeah. Mm. The hand is all right though. Yeah. Yeah. The it it is pretty good. Warax would be a nice draw here. Ah. Oh well. I mean, if he had War Axe, uh, yeah, like everything. Just win the game. Yeah, he's yeah, just like, you can just, like, okay, concede, please. Yeah, like, his hand is already pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I don't like the Naxxon, there's really not much to interact with, you know? You, you have to, like, break the crystal. You know, there's two ways to break the crystal. Like, you have to hold it. It you breaks have to hold in two it. ways. You, have you have can to, like, hold it or you can click. Yeah, like, no, no, no. You have one over there, too. You oh, can do it okay. at the same time. In fact, click. they see yours on the screen. Oh, say they see mine? Yeah, but when, when you hold it, it doesn't actually break. Yeah, no, it just like power outs. Oh, but you know if you I didn't break know you it, can break if you it. break it, then yeah. hold it, it fixes the break. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Hold it, crit. Watch. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy the crystal. I'll try at least. See? Fix the break. Now, now hold it. Now hold it. Okay, so I'm holding see. it. I'm holding it. They call me the next Ramus map master. Hold it. I'm holding it. Hold it. Just hold it. Just I'm holding chill. it. Do you not know how to do this? I'm holding it. There oh, you go. Oh, now now holding you're it. holding oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. God, your micro is terrible. <laughs> I'm a StarCraft player. I'm sorry. Oh. I, I, I'm living with StarCraft players, but still didn't learn stuff. Oh, you live in the uh, Mind Sandy house? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. I like those guys. Yeah, Tell them I said hi. Yeah, definitely. They'd be like, traitor. Traitor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm actually looking forward to a great for, start like, here. Huh? MechMage is off to a great start here. Yeah. Really you have, to, you have to kill that mech with the shield slam, which is pretty sad. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't develop the Acolyte after that, so that's really, really sad. I mean, the Shredder is going to help a little bit next turn, but not really, because the another mech is probably going to come on yeah. board, right? Yeah. So it's just dies to Cogmaster. Cogmaster is a crazy card. Oh, yeah. I mean, he ain't no Flame Imp, but <laughs> he he's good. But he's almost Flame Imp. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> close enough to Flame Imp. And doesn't do damage to you, which is sometimes quite a, important. Oh, Mech Mage doesn't care. When Mech Mage starts taking damage, the game's already over. Yeah, so sure, yeah. sure. Every game that Mech Mage wins, it's either top deck fireball right before death, yeah. or it's at like 24 health. <laughs> true, true. Okay, so this is going to be the shield slam armor up, and I don't know. Name just some good options here. Technician is not going to do it right now because there's no mech on the board. But for next turn, why not? Hmm. Oh. This card is probably one of the worst cards, in my opinion. Oh, the spare runner? parts. Yeah. yeah, of course. I just hate this room. Yeah, it's pretty awful. So it sometimes does a cool thing on the uh, Blast Mage, but more often than not, it doesn't. More often than not, yeah. I mean, so this is going to be Shredder into Doomsayer. Otherwise... That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, otherwise <laughs> Johnny Doid is in a pretty bad spot. Um... Ah. Belcher might stabilize, but... Oh, man. I don't think as much as stabilizes here. Mm. With the Blast Mage in hand? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty tough. That Blast Mage is going to come down almost no matter what. 
Oh man, what a okay. piece of crap. I just hit that with a three and then blast me yeah. in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Um, I might not. Actually, no. no I would I hit, hit it with, it with two, a two-two. Two. I would hit it with a two-two. Yeah. I would hit it with a two-two. Okay. That's why he cannot execute your three-four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What to do? For like a lot of reasons too, because mm. even a whirlwind effect, then suddenly you get a secret. Yeah. Yeah, but then you get that like uh, really low percent chance. The four to face. Yeah. If he gets the four to face, he deserves it. <laughs> It's one in sixteen. You want to do the percentages on that, Artosis? One in sixteen. Yeah, it's like four percent. It's less. It's, uh, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's fifty, more. twenty-five, twelve and a half, and it's like six percent. Yeah, something like that. Yep. A little bit over six. Okay, so he did it the same way, but he did. No, he did it the inverse yeah. way. Yeah, no, yeah. he did it wrong. Yeah, he, he missed, missed one damage. damage. He yeah, see, potentially all missed one damage. Yeah, potentially missed one damage. But then, then he'd attack it with the uh, mad scientist first, and then get Everything that go to face. get that nice six <laughs> percent. <laughs> one damage can be a big deal though in this matchup because um, the warrior is always battling with his HP, trying to keep it level while using weapons. Yeah, and just a few points of damage can be the difference between him killing off another minion for free. Mm. Yeah, also, also important to say is that like Giant Droid actually didn't draw any weapons, which is quite bad for him right now. Hey, you know what? Uh, this Blast Mage works pretty well with Time Winder here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean... I yeah, would actually... I would maybe use it, because like... That I would set off so my uh, Mad Scientist for sure on the little blob, mm -hmm. but I would also bounce and put him back down, I think. You think you'd put him back down? I think so. I don't want him to die easily, but you have to remove the Belcher. And that's like another four damage you, to face, right? You kind of play yeah, more around you, you Brawl as well. You have the Yeti now. Uh, huh? With, with the Yeti in hand, I think the Yeti is a little better than the Blast Mage. Okay, it's it's like better on the board maybe? Cause it's a map, right, but, but, but you get that damage like usually anyway. Because you are like kind of playing around some stuff too though. And if he has another Belcher or he has a Shield Mater or something, this actually trades reasonably well with that. Mm. Uh, I kind of like it. It makes Time Rewinder do something, which is neat. Yeah. Well, I think I don't think anyone's disputing the Time Rewinder. Huh? I don't think anyone's disputing the Time Rewinder. I think that's absolutely correct. <laughs> oh, it, whether or not to play it. Okay. Yeah. No, I just thought. Yeah, I just thought playing the Yeti. Yeah, just, just was better keeping than the replaying blast the Blast hand. Mage. Yeah, just keeping the Blast Mage. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, actually, it makes sense. Yeah, just get rid of it. It was a really good spare part for uh, Nimishir. Unless he doesn't make it in time because of the animation. Oh, He wow. just missed eight oh damage. God. And this is a huge deal, actually. This is a huge deal. I cannot even... Wow. The animation of Sludge Belcher. Every pro is complaining about this animation. Yeah. Sorry. Because when you're in rope situation, you just need to play fast. Because if you don't, you just... This happens. People got to start playing more owls to get around those Belcher animations. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> Owl is a beast, man. Yeah, it literally <laughs> is, a is a beast. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, still it's still pretty bad for the warrior. As bad as that yeah, yeah. that ended up going for Nimsh, it's not like the warrior's doing any better. You know, it's funny when uh, Nimsh did it. Like I looked over at him, and he like his eyes came up and looked at me. <laughs> 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 he knows that we're all like, oh god, oh, Nimsh. God, He's like, man. oh god, this is embarrassing. <laughs> 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 it's happened to all of us, of course. So I'm not sure if this Eclide is correct. I think like... Um, Getting Armorsmith is better. Yeah. Like giving your opponent Armorsmith. Um, agreed. Agreed. Because... That's two even cards, though, right? Yeah. Two cards. At least. At least two cards. Yeah. And that's a huge deal. Like, Nimsh was kind of starved out of resources a little bit. But now you just gave him so... No, he's... Look at that hand. His hand is really good. He's got an insane board. Yeah. I, I think you can like just ping, go to face. Like I, I don't even know if you want to play more minions. Now you could bounce the uh, Archmage and mill the warrior. You can give him six cards. <laughs> <laughs> you are too funny. That's so funny. Uh, I don't wow. think that's the greatest. That's move. a great idea, Crip. <laughs> It's I a think great idea, but not sure if it's a good move. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you can see things like that. <laughs> okay. You're a very special, special. Arsene player. <laughs> very special. <laughs> I would shredder here just to play a little bit around the brawl. Um, yeah, if you're going to play something, it's going to yeah, be shredder. It's going to be shredder. Like, you don't even want to give him the possibility of a spare part that can freeze you or something and, you know, stall out with. But this is looking like really good for Nips right now. I think I may have time rewinded the, the Acolyte. Mm hmm. Yeah. Really? 
Just not to give him a... I mean, it doesn't matter, actually. It doesn't matter. Unless he has a whirlwind. It, it matters only if he has a whirlwind. Right? Mm. Wait, what? Why would that... Uh, why would that more matter? draws. Four you draws. Yeah, because you can give him four draws. I mean, you can give him four draws. Oh, anyway. okay. No, I see what you're saying. Like, okay, you could yeah. give him, like, six draws, kind of. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I don't think that matters much. All right, he's looking for executes. This is an execute dig right now. See, I'd be looking for like a brawl. Yeah, I'll be looking for a brawl too. Okay, yeah, a brawl would work too. It's not there though, so I think this is a game, right? What now? Looks like it. <laughs> it <laughs> certainly looks like it. Uh, no, well, the Belcher will do not much. Let's see. This is eight. Um, no, it's not game yet, right? Eight, I don't know. I don't like to count. It's a little 11, bit awkward. Yeah, with the, the armor smith, the armor smith uh, kind of. You have the frost bolt, it. though. Yeah, even with the frost bolt, it's not enough. Is it I not? I mean, if you play, I you can blast mage somehow. Yeah. Could you blast mage somehow, lethal? Mm. The time rewinder. That might be possible. It's a bit tricky. You ha not really. Well, that really. might gain him for life. Like you have yeah. to, uh, you have to kill the sludge bolter in, in as few hits as possible. Okay, so let's just not find lethal because it's kind of impossible to do it. I would just yeah. like set up more myself for a good win next turn. So you just probably just yeah. entity, yeah. right? Just make mm -hmm. it, make it safe. Don't do something crazy that could like give your opponent actually more health with the blast mage. I think. Um, that's probably the way to do this. See it with the tank. Yeah. yeah. Just entity. Everything goes fast. I'd probably kill her off. You don't think you'd kill her? Uh, I I mean, that's a lot of damage you sack. Yeah, um, you sack four, but like... It, I mean, she is an issue. Look how much health she can. Yeah, true, true. Oh god, the mirror entity. Yeah. I think the mirror entity just seals the deal again. He needs to armor smith brawl here. Oops, that's not it. So if he rag hits the four two, he rags and hits the rag. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. There's. A, oh my god. Yeah, rag he's, and hit the he's rag. super dead. No, no, no. If he rags hits the four two and then the rag hits the rag. Oh no. Is he still alive? No, he has to play rag, uh, hit the shredder, get a doomsayer, clear. Yeah, easy. Easy. No problem. <laughs> easy game. Easy. easy life. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. So that's a uh, that's a one in five, twenty one in percent. Six, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Wouldn't, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be better just to it's fiery war X? Wouldn't it be just better to fiery <laughs> war X? The shredder. No, because then you still deal with the mirror entity. Well, you just play the shield maiden. You get armor, and you still clear the board, right? That's not it, guys. Dang. Yeah. Okay. He That's, knows what that is. Yeah, too. he knows what it is. Now he needed a rag to hit it. You're I right. The beast in my side. Oops. I got the beast yeah, if it would be an entity, like if it, if he would get Doomsayer, you can still play the Shield Maiden. You get rid of the entity as well, mm -hmm. and you still get armor. Well so it's supposed to be still fine. All right. Well, Nimsh takes another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna bring us to the final match. It's gonna be Warrior Warrior. Oh, the Resident Sleeper matchup. That's so weird. Like. Uh, Johnny's warrior, like warrior is usually a class that just has a pretty damn good chance against everything. Uh, just but failing to win a game. Yeah, but these matches that we're seeing it in, though, like Druid and mm -hmm. uh, mech mage. the, the Mech Mage, yeah, I think it's like slightly, slightly unfavored. Yeah, so like if you're playing a bunch of 45% matchups or something or 40 or whatever yeah. you want to evaluate that at, it can happen. It can happen. Yeah. So I don't think we've seen Harrison Jones in Warrior's Hand yet. We haven't seen much. He's been mostly like yeah. on the last limb. Yeah. True. So the actually, do you think you you'd maybe miss lethal intentionally to see more of the deck? <laughs> I see what you're saying. How try I've harder? I, how try hard would you I be? have seen that. My, where my people view. like just kind of chill mm -hmm. and play in such a way to try to get another card out of you. Okay. But when I see that, it's like a sick match, like an RDU Tice or something, and mm -hmm. it doesn't happen. They don't show anything else. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, so it's Battle of the uh, Garoshes here. Hmm. So that's about a pretty good card in this matchup. Yeah, um, it tends to kill just about everything played before it. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, probably keep, keep that, that and yeah. I throw the other two. Although I do like early shield maidens because I like to try to bait actually, out. Any I actually kind of like uh, the execute. 
You like is, the execute this yeah, early? Yeah, one of the ways that I feel uh, one warrior gets out of control is they play a creature that's just outside weapon range. Mm -hmm. you but you have, have death spite, which is basically everything's in weapon range for it. Mm, yeah. As long as you don't like waste a charge, like don't go to face. Yeah. Maybe, Kay. yeah, maybe if you have a second charge, just save it for a little bit. Oh, is Sarah. Uh, oh, this is a really good card against oh, the enemy yeah, match. Yeah. In mirror match, this card is nuts. Like seriously, that's a game winner. Mm -hmm. If you like, kind of bait out the executes, right? If you bait yeah. out executes out, uh, like obviously you don't keep it, but if you have it later game, just drop it. No yeah. execute, no shield slam. The game just can be one. That mulligan just went to zero zero. <laughs> oh look, they both got Doctor Boom. But Nimsh has a coin. Will he save it for Doctor Boom? Might be. Because actually, first Doctor Boom is kind of important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Harrison Jones oh, from Nimsh as well. Everything okay. looks good for Nimsh right now. Yeah, and I does. actually liked his mulligan as well, keeping the shield block. Because yeah. late game, you don't even want to use that thing because you're getting towards fatigue. But early on, that can help so much. Mm -hmm. you just like you just get more in information, what you have to yeah. work with. And yeah, looks good. I mean, you usually don't play anything on turn three anyway. So yeah, might as well. Totally. Wow. Nimsh might actually just come back and 3 0 this warrior deck. Yeah. yeah. Counter sweep? Yeah. Is, that's not the first time we've even seen that today, is it? Oh, no. Okay. We've seen some 2 0s against Warrior. Warrior is not performing at this tournament so far. I think it's all right. It's no, just, I think um, so far it's actually not done too, too well. Warrior Warrior is a good ladder class because, uh, because Hunter is so prevalent. Yeah. But yeah. people have actually hesitated to bring Hunter because they knew it would be so countered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with Hunter not showing. It's true ladder colors in the tournament. Yeah. It, it's made Warrior I, slightly worse. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good way to put it. And a lot of people... Uh, I actually liked the fact that Rain had brought the, the mid-range Hunter kind of as a good counter towards... The Warriors. What people were feeling that win about a game, Hunter. Though? But... Huh? Did that win a game? No, no, no. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone that brought mid-range Hunter I was died. I was being serious. I, I thought it may have won one, but I don't remember. No, it absolutely did not. Okay. I mean, mid-range Hunter kind of makes sense because Druid is quite strong at the moment and Warrior is quite strong at the moment as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you bring it over Phase Hunter, it's, it's just better against those classes. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. I just don't like Warrior at this meta. Um, dies to Druid easily. No, I I don't like that naked acolyte. I've seen so many people playing the early acolyte, and it's I don't like, hate it. I don't hate it. I don't like it because if you draw like two cards off the acolyte, it's more than twice as good. It's warrior warrior man. It's warrior warrior. Well, drawing two cards off the acolyte might be twice as bad. Okay, it could be. I I like to play an aggressive warrior versus warrior though. Mm. I like to really push my threats out there, and you need the acolytes for that. So I don't know. I guess it might be a stylistic thing, or I'm bad. I don't know. One of those two. It's really only countered by Fiery War Axe. Definitely. Like I mean, if, if, if you bait if you, out yeah, coin if you, for that coin, if you death coins bite, a death yeah. bite on an You're acolyte, happy. that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's true. That is true. So, this is actually a pretty hard decision to make. Uh, I think Armor Smith is just clear. Um, go. Yeah. You could go. Just you just you could have gone for like shield block to be mana efficient. Yeah, I like shield block. that brawl. Next turn you can just there put that and, and armor brawl. up. Brawl. Bro, too late yeah, though. Sure, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> One game later. Oh, uh, I think here I like the shredder. Yeah, shredder looks good. I mean, dead's bite looks like decent, but shredder is just so much better. He needs immediate response to it. Brawl, brawl it up. <laughs> nah, probably just gonna be like taskmaster, kill the shredder, something like that. Mm, yeah, looks good. What but we should just hype for Brawl, right? Like, Brawl is exciting. Brawl is exciting, but let's get a more exciting one than this. <laughs> this would be the dumbest Brawl ever. <laughs> like, Coins Brawl out of ten. Coins Brawl, even if the <laughs> the Armor Smith wins, I'm like, actually, I think he's going to lose because of that move. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because, like, now he wasted his Brawl and the coin. <laughs> for hashtag Kappa worth it. Okay, so this is going to be trading. Um... We'll see what comes out of it. If it's like something like Millhouse Mana Storm, he has oh. shield slam for it. That might require. He and might shield slam that. Yeah, he might shield slam that. Flagged for a little bit on the screen, so I didn't see it. I yeah. wasn't watching that screen. So this might be shield slam. No, Actually, I, but think I don't think so. I think no, I don't damage. think so. 
Like, you need to keep your shield stun for something big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty premium for removal. Mm -hmm. But his armor is going to go away in a, a big way if... Uh, okay. Yeah. But I don't think you care that much no. if it goes away because oh. you have a shield block, right? Yeah. It, about that. Ten, ten damage. <laughs> ten face. Uh, uh, but you can't protect it after. It's not worth it. I it's mean, Belcher is pretty good. Yeah, Belcher, Belcher is a really good play here. I think Belcher is more aggressive and more defensive. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's like perfect. Yeah. It's more mana efficient too. It's, everything. it's just everything. This is the move. Yeah. The move. That's really good. Yeah, it's that really Belcher good. was awesome. Brawl. <laughs> I mean, this actually might be brawlable. <laughs> oh, like no. when you look at it, oh, uh, it's either brawl or shield, shield block, shield, shield, block, slam. shield mm -hmm. slam. I like it's shield block, shield slam. Yeah. I like it too. It's a good combo. Yeah, the, like the thing about the brawl in this matchup is that you usually won't get much value from the brawl anyway. So this could be brawlable, but usually you want to keep brawl for like the, after the, boom. Or yeah, something I like think that. you must have missed the memo. The new thing is to play Tarzan and then brawl Silva on the same turn. Okay, that's a sick. True, true, true. The old school combo mm. works again. Yeah. It's back. It it it's worked back. specifically well. And it costs well. one mana less now. Yeah, <laughs> it worked quite well early on just because uh, people like didn't even know about this combo. They just like play into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to fix this. Right oh, now. is it this broken? Is, this is broken. My, breaking my brain. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The coin behind. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, at least we don't see demon lock cards, right? Like demon cards, sometimes when the spectator oh, mode yeah. breaks. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. So this can be shield slam, kill the slime. Yeah. Yeah, decent. That's good. I mean, you take some damage, but you don't care that much about it, I guess. So it's not all the time to work with that. Yeah. You don't care that much, but... You kind of care. care. You kind of care. It's going to start caring pretty soon. <laughs> this, yeah. this is a 12 damage bot so far. Yeah. Maybe 16. He does master it. No, not the same. <laughs> it would be fun, though. I guess he could with a death <laughs> bite. Yeah. No. Nah. Yes, you could. That and would the get thing so is Harrison. That <laughs> would be awesome. That <laughs> <laughs> would be so awesome. Oh, You're great. very right. I'm like, wait. Yeah. Oh, yes. Indeed. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> oh, what a move that would be. <laughs> then I would have done. And like, he might do it. He might do it. No, no I think I it's don't wrong. Think so. I just think it's just armor smith, right? Like there's. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why would you taskmaster there? Because it's so cool. It's so cool, but not cool enough. Like because. seriously, 16 damage oh, so far no, out of the shredder. He's thinking. He's about thinking it. about it. Oh. Oh. Look at this guy. It's now up to 12 damage. Yeah. That's a that's a good shredder right there. Shaman best deck. Yeah. Why Why are you guys even playing warriors? God, I swear. In the warrior mirror, the one who got the shaman card first is crushing it. What? Well, shaman used to beat warrior all the time. I mean, it still does. And we see why with this whirling zapomatic. No. I mean, I brought shaman to this tournament, and I'm 3-0 with it, I think. Actually, shaman's doing really well at this oh. tournament. Sixa was killing with it. Uh, we saw several players actually do very, very well yeah. with shaman. I wonder. It's a good deck. Yeah. Um, so what do we have here from Nimsh? I mean, he can Harrison Jones. Is he going to Harrison execute? I don't think so. He cannot execute this. Well, that's, I mean, he cannot leave this up another He needs turn. to draw Fire War X. Oh. I just called it. So this is now 15 damage out of this Shredder drop. Yeah. 15 damage. damage. That's pretty good. I can't even believe that this thing did 15 damage. And didn't Shredder itself do some damage as well? I mean, uh, Shredder did Shredder? No, no, no. He immediately killed Shredder with okay. the. Uh, yeah. So Shredder traded for the Battle Cry okay. on a Cruel Taskmaster, also for a whole card in the form of uh, Armor Smith. Plus, its drop did 15 and took half an axe charge. That's so crazy. Think about this for a moment. Yeah. That is the craziest Shredder ever. It's pretty good. That Shredder that. is better than Shredder from the Ninja Turtles, okay? <laughs> I've never seen Ninja Turtles. The cool thing you have Ninja Turtles were the Turtles. I don't know who's the Shredder from Ninja Turtles. He's the bad guy. You need to watch Ninja Turtles. Yes. Oh my god. I'm sorry. They don't have Ninja Turtles in the check? They do, but I never watched like, I'd rather watch Pokemon, you know. I had a Donatello I poster guess. when I was a kid in Romania. 
You had a Donatello what? Poster. Poster. That's awesome. <laughs> That's sick. He was a smart guy. But one. I only I cared you about the turtles. Like the you know, I wanted to be like Leonardo. Uh -huh. I wanted to be like the nice, like, <gasps> oh. valiant leader. And then my dad got me a Raphael action figure, and I became a wise ass. True story. There you go. Raphael's you go. A cool. You got, got the little kitchen knives, you know? Yeah, he's got the two forks. I have no Slicing idea what they're called. About. Size. Okay. I have no idea. Dude, what you need to about. you need to watch some vintage Ninja Turtles, man. This is important. Okay, it's like needed. I'm worried about you. Much. <laughs> it's needed for my education to get yeah. to see Ninja Turtles, I guess. Okay, so what do you do here as a Nimsh? Like, Nimsh is pretty awkward. Turn like, I mean, either you he face goes. This. It, you get your health down before Alex draws it does it to you, man. <laughs> I guess so. You, you can kill this, you play your own boom. Just play boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, I brawl. think that's the best. He part. might think about brawl too. Brawl. Yeah, he might think oh. about brawl. Um, yeah. I don't really like that to be Until honest. Until eight to face plus seven, that's fifteen from so Doctor Do Boom. Doctor Boom. <laughs> Doctor Boom's gonna stay alive. No, in this the, is in the best. Boom yeah, this is best. Move by far. Yeah. And the nineteen, you're still fine. Yeah. Everything's still fine. The thing is. Okay. Yeah. 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 There was no Emperor, so there's nothing crazy like Gromash with Taskmaster coming out on turn right. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, where uh, the boom bots show who's boss here. <laughs> yeah. Can you kill the boom, Dr. Boom? Oh, it's certain. <laughs> it's certain? <laughs> it happened to me a few times on stream. And the thing is, you hit the boom bot with your boom bot. That's how badass you are. <laughs> nah. Yeah, because then you hit four and four on. Oh, oh yeah, boom bot with the boom bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I, I because like, that's how you kill boom. Yeah, that's how you kill yeah. the boom, yeah. Clearly. I think Easy. I like double armor smith. He needs to play Acolyte. It could. What now? Okay, oh, yeah, double Acolyte armor smith. Acolyte. Acolyte is sick. Sounds yeah. good. Wow. God. <laughs> Johnny Druid. Armor. Johnny Druid. Okay, so armor smith is there. Um, he's not picking Acolyte. I would like to Acolyte. See, like, see it here. Oh, oh. volleyball. Oh. I okay. mean, that armor smith tanked a lot of damage, I guess. Yeah. Okay, one way to look at it. I have mm. no time for games. Okay. So one is pretty decent. Eh. Yeah. I'm yeah. not like a huge fan of that Sylvanas, but it's not terrible, I think. Yeah, I mean, decent card. It's okay. <laughs> it's a better hero. <laughs> I wish Sylvanas was like. Uh, what, what, is, what is she in, like, a lore? She's Hunter, right? What's, what's no, no, say? she's, she's undead. Like, I know she's undead, but like... like what? <laughs> but like, <laughs> undead her. is a race. Undead is a race. Oh, she's like an elf, right? Look at her yeah, hood. She, yeah, she used to be elf, but yeah. then uh, like Artas made her undead. Okay. And she was like a banshee or something like that, right? Yeah. Am I correct? A banshee? I think she's like banshee. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, but The only banshee I know is from StarCraft. <laughs> yeah, Artos has never played World of Warcraft. You never played. I'm in Warcraft three even. No, not really. Oh. Not really. I'm a two game. What dude. are you? So are okay, you so thinking? I need to oh, watch on. Ninja Let's Turtles, and you need to like. I'll play WoW. WoW. No, not WoW. Warcraft three. Warcraft what do you? 3. What do you think about Death? Okay. Death's bite on the Boom Bot. To try to hit your Doctor Boom to then trade. That mm. is a sick move. That's, crit. that's like forty percent to turn out really well, and if it doesn't, you just big game your Doctor Boom after it's stolen. Yeah. 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 Well. Or you can you execute can't, it. You don't want to big be... Uh, I don't know. Oh, is he going to face? Is he going to face? It's, it is Nimsh. Ooh. That's okay. true. It is Nimsh. That's a good point. Well, he does... Yeah, he has uh, Gromash here as well. Like, this actually could end up paying off. Mm. No. No. <laughs> I mean... Uh, no. I guess... Like, you have your Sarah. Like, you should play for value. Like, when you have your Sarah in hand, I think, like, Name should probably just play for value. Mm. Well, uh, you, can, you can play for face and back it up with value, right? <laughs> guess. No, that's not. Um, but Johnny Druid's hand's kind of low value right there. I think it's fine. I think you can just act like Cruel Task. Cruel Task. Yeah. yeah. If death Bite's coming down, you might even draw an extra card. Card count wiser. Actually, uh, Nimsh is two cards ahead. Even if he draws three cards of Acolyte, they're even on Fatigue game. Yeah. yeah. And if he had just three whatever cards, I think he'd be doing about the same. Yeah. Belcher, bro. That's not it. Hmm. Oh, that is a miss. miss order right there, unfortunately. He may have been looking for a four drop. Maybe looking for a big game hunter of his own. Okay, yeah. But no, that doesn't make too much sense. Okay, so he steals. Well, I guess 
you know, this is... He's going to at least gain a lot of armor, right? Yeah. So what sick draw would be Baron Gaiden right now? There's no just draw. There's no sick draw, There's no sick draw yeah, required. <laughs> you're right, I mean, you're right. sure, but like... Do you think he'll win. have a better brawl board than this no, no. later in this game? In, in warrior no matchup? Chance. No. <laughs> Do you think in this tournament he could have a better brawl board than what we see here? Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Against some, like, Possibly. aggro deck? What, what do you think about, like, the, the Molten Giant, Molten Giant, Mountain Giant, Mountain Giant, all with Taunt with an Ancient Watcher in the corner versus Armor Smith <laughs> and Brawl? Yeah. That's okay. a Kit Kat's uh, brawl right yeah. there. But bra Armor Smith actually didn't survive, so... Well, that was as good as that could have gone, actually. That is a garbage minion, and that Boombot did one damage. Yep. <laughs> Nimsh is on the comeback trail. Yeah, you don't kill it. You just armor up, go. I armor do agree with the armor up, go. Yeah, it's uh, it's not only that you have the grow mash, but you also have the execute. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's and just no way to use this. It's a lot harder to use later on, and it's not only that, but with the execute, you could even do a good job protecting you, Sarah. Like if um, yeah. if he drops like rag or something. Yeah, if Johnny wastes his whole turn playing one big minion, you can attack the cruel task and execute the big minion while playing the. Oh, he's thinking about shield slam. Mm, I don't like that. No, I don't either. That's I don't terrible. think that this guy is putting on any pressure, really. You, you, he's still at 20. He's still fine. He has a taunt, even. There's yeah, no that's, reason. That's absolutely terrible for a shield slam. I yeah. Think. The shield slam is actually just... It, like, he still has a... Uh, has he used his shield maidens? Oh, no. No, no shield okay, maidens. He's only fine. one shield block. Yeah, yeah. The shield, sh like, a lot of people are only playing one shield block mm -hmm. right now, so that's probably it for that, but... Double shield maiden. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's still a very valuable card. I'm glad that he didn't, didn't do it. So... It's not an awkward turn. And what is really good about the Brawl was that like the Acolyte died there as well, so another potential draw for uh, Johnny uh, Johnny Druid is out. Um, he's going to be starved. Like, right now, he just probably will play Belcher into hero power, and that's going to be punished by just Sarah. Like He's going to kill the Belcher and just play Sarah, and you're good to go. Mm, so sick. Thing is, he doesn't even want to play the Belcher. He has plenty yeah. of life. Like he can actually armor attack pass too. Yeah, could be. Try to bait out this attack because he actually saw Nimsh thinking about hitting that with his weapon. Yeah. Maybe you will. I think it's just the Sarah pass. I don't think you use the weapon here either. Uh, Agreed. Yeah, I don't think so. Agreed. He just, is, he just a, saw. That is a proc though. That is a proc. Yeah. Like I. I oh uh, yeah, I don't like the uh, acolyte like attack or something to draw. It's not good enough. I mean, you could go for acolyte attack, Belcher, hero Does power. Does he need more cards right but now? He doesn't need more cards exactly. Yeah. Like Ysera is so strong. Like if he, he doesn't needs, have if he needs removal, more cards, he can just play yeah. Ysera. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to look at it as well. And the good thing about this is that like uh, if there are shield slam in uh, Johnny Droid's hand, like shield slams are not enough. He just needs the executes, right? Sh yeah. Shield slams kind of enough. Kinda enough, but yeah. like, like he if, would if, need if to you want to play need... super safe, you oh. need to go face execute to so drop the armor, then play Ysera. Yeah. yeah. If you really care about the uh, the dreamer, it's too bad you didn't get dream. Nope. Yep. And seven. Yeah, he can kill it. That's enough. Yeah, he can kill it right now with the fire works. And it wouldn't have been even close if he did the face hit. But again, I can't really criticize him for that. No, no, I I wouldn't have done that for sure. Like you are really, you are reaching to keep this Ysera alive. Yeah. Let him use like a bunch of cards and a little bit of ar armor in life. It's fine. I also think uh, a cruel task could take on a Ysera in a in a brawl, mm -hmm. in a brawl situation. Yeah, could 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 go. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah. I'll just play the Belcher. Ah, do you play Belcher? Probably not. I just realized that there's yeah, a spell that's by there. Not. Yeah. Yeah, uh, play it slow. You don't need to. Yeah. Okay, oh. he decided. To well, do that. I mean, that, that allows the Acolyte to pop out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Acolyte, kill it. Acolyte, kill good. it. There are a lot of cards in both of the players' decks, so. Nimsh isn't really too worried right now about fatigue. Uh, he might just win because he's going to have cards in hand or his opponent but is not going to. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Yeah. Having that extra armor makes you make uh, you know much more aggressive plays. Yeah, yeah. I still like the Belcher here. Uh, just Absolutely. Belcher armor up. Uh, use the Maiden when you need to shield slam stuff. Yeah. Um, why not? Now this is he's like completely a billion percent safe because of this yeah. play. Oh wow! We're finally gonna see a Black Knight kill something. Just in time. You can actually clear the board and deny that extra draw from the Acolyte. 
it's amazing. Yeah, with a task map. Yeah, could be. Yeah, you um, you black knight the uh, the belcher. You yeah. uh, attack with your slime. Yeah. Yeah. Attack task with the slime, cruel task, slime. the yeah. one health off, and then axe into acolyte. Yep. But then he's got like, ugh. yeah, that's his board is so gross. Like, <laughs> and he has so many cards. Oh my god, I don't know. Yeah. At this point, like, okay, can you check the deck size real quick, Alesh? Yeah, it's well, uh, fourteen is, to twelve. Is, yeah. So There's gonna be three ahead. No, I mean you can't go for any sort of fatigue win or something. Yeah. This is he has to do what you're saying. I'm not sure if it's gonna be even enough, right? Like, I mean, you have to do this, but you have two cards. One of it's BGH, which is nice. It's removal, I guess. Yeah, and but the, I mean, the brawl you can get like some coin flip type stuff. It's yeah. oh, emperor, emperor, baby. Oh, that's a good emperor too. That hand is coming down really mm -hmm. soon. And oh boy, he could wait with emperor, but I don't think he do. Um, <laughs> He can just like Taskmaster execute Emperor. Uh, Hold on. Uh, he could I just Shield Maiden, Shield Slam still like it's fine. Both Cruels are actually gone for, for Johnny, right? Mm -hmm. So actually, there's like no real way to proc unless he thinks he has a Whirlwind. He's played this Warrior deck three times now, so I think he's pretty sure there's not. There's no Whirlwind. So he doesn't even yeah. have to play Scared right now. Like, exactly. He can do pretty much anything he wants. I do like the the Shield Main play Shield Main Shield Slam. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's slower. You don't need to rush because you're going to have a win in a value game, mm -hmm. right? Well, so yeah, yeah, it's definitely. Fine. It's like if he just does two good things every turn he's set. I, I, think I would I like also play Fire War X, Yeah, Fire War X, the Ooze. I yep. think the Cruel Task is more valuable than one definitely. health. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You wants could it. also Tharson and play all that stuff plus some extras next turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be the Maiden, probably the Slam, and the Fireworks. I mean, he can Taskmaster it, but I don't know. I, I mean, no. you have Gromash in hand. Like, yeah. You don't, you don't yeah. Cruel Task. If he Cruel Task that, I have to like <laughs> have a talk with him afterwards. <laughs> okay. Good thing he didn't do that. It's like, but Nimsh, wouldn't you prefer to have 17 on an empty board? Mm. Wouldn't that be better than saving the damage? <laughs> I He's think, actually got um, like 25 damage next turn. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I think the main way that, um, uh, that that Johnny can actually win this game is by getting a really sick brawl. Mm -hmm. But if he waits too long, and he certainly will wait too long because the rest of his hand is awful, Yeah. Uh, he's just going to die. Yeah. And I, I feel like like he, no, Johnny Druid has this car, like He has a brawl. Since the beginning of the game, yeah. So that card is there forever. So if Nimsh pays attention to that, he will know it's gonna be BGH and Bro. Like he can straight up say yeah. what are those two cards in hand. He can straight up say that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's gonna be also Gromash. It can be Gromash BGH yeah, yeah. Bro. So those three cards you put uh, your opponent on. Mm -hmm. Like that's something to what what the opponent has right in hand. Think about. Well. I think you just play it safe. 5-5 five, five or 5-5, five, five, two, 2-2, two, mm -hmm. X that thing yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stars just play Emperor. Time. His hand is like too quality right now. Yep. He's just getting in a better and better shape the entire time. Because he can just, if he trades one for one even, mm -hmm. over and over, he just wins. <laughs> he yep. can just win, yeah. And eventually he'll get his Ox Draws out. Like he doesn't need any real presence out there. Mm -hmm. And with a Tarzan there with the hand he has and nothing on board. Oh my god, think about that for a That's moment. That's okay. That's Nimsh has got this, man. So crazy, yeah. I mean, your Gromash now costs seven. Sylvanas finally back to five. Finally. Yeah. Blizzard under. She deserves it. <laughs> she deserves it, yeah. He's all. He's got all this combo, too. You can kill off your own Sylvanas, that BGH. I mean, the main thing is that Tharson doesn't die next turn to anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's, it's getting silly now. Yeah. Yeah. What can? He, yeah. I think like, what could he draw? Would be like Rag. If the enemy yeah. wouldn't have any removal, then you can win the game. But we see their BGH. We see execute. Oh. Shield block is decent, I guess. Let's yeah. see. There's a. It's a draw. It's it a draw. Might suck. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> he has enough armor. It's not really that decent of a draw. Oh. Play yeah. it. That's kind of disappointing. Johnny right now is like, oh, I went through the qualifier and so close. He's up 2-0, and now he's dead. <laughs> I mean, he still has a, yeah. another chance, right? This is just the first match of the series, of the, of the group. 
Huh? This is just some first match of the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he can he can come back. It to is it is really hard. Valesh can do it anyway. Yeah, do it, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it like that. I just got three zeros by six zero, and then I won the hard way. It's possible. It is it is a lot harder. Yeah. Because if if you win your first game, you only have to win one more. If you lose your first game, you have to win two more in a row. Mm -hmm. Kill it. So you can probably just clip with a dead spot. Maybe yeah. just play Solanus. Like. Oh, get, you know, some presence on board, I guess. That's a BGH brawl move? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's not, because Sylvanas just takes BGH. Yeah. I'd probably kill it in armor up, to be honest. I'd want to see how even. low I You can, can get even, to be honest. You can even do that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just armor pass. No! I think it's fine. Like, But imagine if Sylvanas costs four. What do you do then? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. True, true. You can play Gromash and Sylvanas in one turn. That is so sick. That is so sick. And it's a free cruel taskmaster. And you can and a free execute something for free. And BGH for one mana. You play Lotheb and you're still playing Nightmare with all that too. Yeah, like if he plays Lotheb, Nightmare is going to cost uh, three mana right now. Wow. That is sick. He needs to draw right now, Harrison. If he plays That's Lotheb, Lotheb just going to die to the, <laughs> the oh, Tarzan. Sure, but, uh, I guess. I think you actually save Acolyte. <laughs> what do you save? You need the card. You know, you, yeah, you can't need save the card. It. You can't save that. I think you need the like, card. Like this too. makes sure that Tarson's dead. Mm. No, it doesn't. I mean, you can nightmare it. <laughs> yeah, he dies from that as well. <laughs> I know, but he still survives for a little bit. Yeah, one more end of turn effect. Mm -hmm. One more cheaper stuff. Gromash for five Not mana. No. Oh my god. Yeah, what about Gromash into Acolyte so to, to keep your Tharsten alive? Okay, I could go along with that. Mm -hmm. I think it's like kind of dumb because that's like <laughs> 12 points really of instant damage. <laughs> but what I want to see is just like armoring up and keeping Tarzan there. It's mm -hmm. just but the thing is, if he, if he oh, keep... Oh, you actually don't have to waste uh, Gromash. You can Sylvanas, Nightmare Sylvanas, Big Game Sylvanas. That's true. And then Tarzan makes... Well, you don't have many cards left for him to make cheaper then, so that's an issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sure this is troll right now. A uh, pretty good one, pretty good troll. Uh, but the thing is, like, if Nimsh actually like waits for a long time and do nothing, uh, he's actually lower on cards. Like, yeah. so he might he just might get to what? fatigue eventually, which is not something you want to do, right? So I think putting something on board like the Sylvanas is mm. quite good here. Vortex, uh, or sorry, uh, Johnny will have uh, close to 50 life next turn. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. The Harrison Jones is pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the best draws you could have hoped for. Uh, whatever he gets, a shield slam from it isn't too great right now, but it's going to be definitely useful in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I think armor pass yeah. is the play. Why not? Well, wind. Oh, there it is. He has it. All right. But that's Nimshit's deck. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. J Johnny didn't play it in Verwind, I think. Mm, you can just Taskmaster the Armor Smith, kill the Harrison. I mean, it kind of sucks, but you have now Whirlwind for Gromash, so you don't really need to keep the Taskmaster anymore. Yeah. Um. Add something to think about, and just try to push some damage in, because that armor is crazy. Like. It just really might happen that Nimsh will just starve himself. I don't think he will, though. I don't think he's going to get Alex Straza. Yeah. Like, it's, he's got just a few cards left. He's going to do that. And he has a 17 damage points true, in his hand. True, well, true, now true. it's going to be less than that. But yeah, it's going to be 15 still. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. And now he do another 5 damage. And this one is probably going to do more damage eventually. Oh, yeah. Even though he's got He's peeling off the armor. Yeah. His health is going right up. No problem. No biggie. So this is probably gonna be like shield slam rag, right? Oh, execute, oh. nice. Execute, yeah. There you go. You execute. Execute is hard to use. I think uh, you execute over shield slam. Mm. And I think yeah, you yeah, do rag. yeah. I think you use execute over shield slam. Do you rag though? I think you, you do. know your I rag you will do. die instantly. I mean, you kind of have to yeah, hope. Yeah, but it you doesn't. might take out the cruel task on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's true. If you're lucky. That that eight mana to kill the. The two-cost minion that had battle cry and already did its job. That's it. Yes. 
It is a value. one for one, though, if it hits. Yeah. I would say it's a one for point five. Okay. That's half of the card right there. Okay. It's like losing something to Fiery War Axe. Fiery War Axe. Mm. I don't know. I think I think I, you have to. Uh, first of all, it could happen that Nimsh doesn't actually have any removal in his hand. It's really, really unlikely. But would, like yeah. you know, at this point of game, like point of game, you kind of have to take risks, right? Yeah. Uh, if you want to win the whole game, so I think playing the rag is correct play. Yeah, I mean you can't just armor pass. Yeah, that's like it's, it's armor shit. <laughs> if he shield slams that taskmaster, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Drop the by fire right. be purged. By power be and purged. By cruel task. Oh, he did rope. Huh. What? Okay. All right. It's actually pretty decent. That's I mean, better than killing yeah, the two two. Definitely. No, that two two is going to swing so many times. Is he? Yeah. He might just. Uh. Mm. So this guy BGH. I mean. Do you drop the Ecolite with six cards in deck? Uh, no. Five cards in deck. Probably not. Absolutely right? yeah. not. Yeah. So, uh, just All right, armor let's, up. Let's go tally face. it up. Two damage. Two damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll keep a track of this. We'll keep track. If he does more than eight, you win. Okay. Actually, if he does eight, you win. Okay. That's because that's a that's Cause value. He'd, st he'd still be on the board. Yeah. But I mean, then uh, like if you uh, shield. Oh no no that that goes into. The four two. Yeah. Yeah, no, and that's another two from Cruel Taskmaster. That's two gonna for be Cruel four. Task. So that's four. That would be four. Yeah. He might even end up procking for execute or something to win the game. Who knows? <laughs> this guy's a hero right now. Yeah. <laughs> Taskmaster <laughs> hero. Um Yeah, what can actually Johnny Droid right draw right now? I mean he probably plays Alex still. Uh he'll have Yeah, they both have Alex still in the deck. Yeah, they he still has Grumash, right? Yeah, he still has Grumash. He's still Grumash. Um mm. we did see his rag. We're not sure of every card he has. Like, I don't yeah. think he has an extra legendary, to be honest. But yeah, I don't, I don't think he has Vistara. Definitely doesn't have Vistara if no, he plays Rag, I think. I think. So. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Boom, have you seen Dr. Yeah, we have seen Both Dr. Boom. Dr. Booms yeah. are gone. Yeah, Booms are gone. Booms came and Booms went. Uh, oh, the oh, shield block. No. That's pretty like, ballsy to play it right now. With four oh, cards yeah. Back. Cruel Task. Three Let's cards. hit it up. <laughs> I bet Cruel four Taskmaster is not going anywhere. Nope. No. That is four damage. Four damage. I think you're right. I think the rag should have hit him. It might actually win Nimsh the game. Might. Yeah. Might. That's really cool. I love when stuff like this actually happens where it's like, oh, this 2 2 actually swung the game. Yeah. He was just sitting around and chipping. A lot of armor. people don't realize. They're like, yeah, cruel task, whatever. But at this stage in the game where every piece of removal is so crucial, you can't just shield slam a cruel task. Yeah. And the cruel task might just go unnoticed for I don't know eight turns. <laughs> and then do sixteen damage. Yeah. And then suddenly the Gromash he was there to help uh, didn't seem that significant. <laughs> no, he <laughs> certainly did not. I hope he nightmares him to win the game. I mean, at this point, do we just shield slam the Belcher? Yes. I guess you have yeah, to, yeah, right? You yeah. Well, your armor is all going to be gone at this little two two soon if you don't. Mm -hmm. I think a death spite is eventually going to hit this 2-2. Two -two. I, I actually so think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so too. I think he might be thinking of doing nothing. I don't think that's the play. No. He yeah, just I think it behind might be. too much. If, if you do nothing, Nimsh does not play another minion. Yeah. He mm -hmm. just armors and passes after he attacking. Five. Hey, he gets five damage yeah. for free pretty much. You have to you have to keep his damage low enough that he's put playing more cards. Like, he has to. Yeah, and the good thing about it is that like, if you... Keep it low on damage on board, right? Uh, he's pretty close to fatigue. Like, Nameshus has yeah, only yeah. two cards left in his deck. I can take the hit. Mm, Shulmanin is pretty strong, though. Yeah, that's a nice card <laughs> right now. And another two damage for Six. good oh guy Taskmaster. Seriously. And th this doesn't really help because he already did the damage to Nimsh. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny when things like this happen. Because I actually I like playing it like this where you're aggressive, but when yeah. the game turns out like this, you feel like you're an idiot. Yep. You're like, well, this is worthless. He's going to be so deep in fatigue by the time that thing heals I him. I think Death's Bite is actually better than Alastrazi here. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it has yeah. to hit the Cruel Task. Yeah, Death's Bite is going to And that is going to bring us up to eight damage from Cruel Task and Crip. I no, it's break even, though, because he does get removed and eight. Oh, okay. So it, yeah, it but he even. also he also had his battle cry. Like... Rag should have hit him. Rag should have hit him. Yeah, well, actually, no, it's not even because it, it does eat up half a death spite charge. Oh, that's true. True, true. No, it's he won. He, he won. won. Yeah, Taskmaster is bigger than Ragnaros confirmed. Yeah. 
Seed Strike up. Yeah, it's. I don't even know. I would, if I could, I would take out Rag and play a third Taskmaster. Uh, so actually, it might seem Nimsh might not play Alexstrasza. I mean, no, it's his last card. There's no way he didn't play it. He might not play it. I mean, he plays Ysera. You know what? This is a Strife Crow deck. He might have Ysera over that for some yeah. reason. I d mm. It's surprising whenever someone doesn't play it, though, you know? Yeah. Nimsh might lose. Yeah. He I could. If he has Alex Straza, though, he still wins. No, he huh? doesn't. You don't think so? Alex Straza didn't do anything. Yes, it does. He's at 26. You Alex Straza and bring him way the hell down, so he's down to 20. Does and 11 damage. And you have you have 15 damage in here. 11 damage is even more than that cruel task. You have did. only 15 damage That's for true. the rest of the game. For the rest of the game. But uh, Johnny Druid has oh. only two cards left in the deck. Yeah, how much damage does he have? Well, he still has Gromash, but he doesn't. His only proc is actually this thing, but he needs to use it this turn. Yeah. Crazy stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. It's going to be wow, crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think still Nimsh wins, though. I still think Nimsh Yeah, wins. yeah. As long as this is Alex Straza, he should just win. Mm -hmm. I think Nimsh will probably win by just waiting out the fatigue game to the last moment, and then Gromash is probably lethal. Yeah. And he has two executes, too, which is pretty big. Yeah. I mean, on the other hand, win. Johnny Druid has a BGH, so it evens out. Okay, so that's gonna happen, because we kinda expect it. And Alex Traza comes up on board. Alright. Oh. oh! So it's, yeah. Okay. I thought it's gonna be Ysera over Rag, but it was Ysera over Alex Traza. Yep. Uh, yeah, I thought it would be the opposite way too, but okay. Um, I mean, it's fine. I mean, you just pretty is much it fine. No. I mean, if you play rack and rack, it's Alex Straza. No, no, it's really this fine. Is this is what you do, right? You play. What about playing the? Oh no. God, you'd have to. No, no you can't the nightmare play. Nightmare has to go on Gromash, yeah. so you can't do that. You can't do it. Well, I mean, you can whirlwind, execute. Nope. No, you just just play rag and hit Alex. Like, well, that's 100%. the best move. That's, that the, that's best the best move. move. Like straight up. You are right about that. Yeah. But actually, he doesn't have any good way to remove BGH. Uh, what he could well, do? I guess he'd run his BG. His he has to run Gromash into BGH. Wait, 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 wait. What? What if he does the Gromash face play this turn, mm -hmm. killing Alistraza? With execute. And then Gromash dies to big game, but then Rag snipes big game. Yes, that's okay. good. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I think you got it. That's. But then. Uh, Johnny Druid still has Gromash in uh, that, Does right? He? Yeah, he should. Like, it's he didn't play Gromash yet. And so those, those are two cards, right? Mm. Wait until we have to see the Accolade of Pain proc something. Oh god, he's not gonna use Nightmare? No, no, no. It seems like not. So, seems like not. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, oh god, Shield Maiden. That is a good card. That's right a really now. good card right now. And, and that means that we're going to have big game Hunter left, and he's going to have to play Accolade of Pain to get rid of it. Yeah. I mean, if he he needs to kill the Shield Maiden. Like, if he doesn't kill the Shield Maiden with the Rag here, he loses the game for sure. Yeah. He's, he's already lost the game. Did he? Yeah. Is it 100%? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably 100%. The, yeah, he's fatigue, two, two, ca yeah, two cards ahead high. in a fatigue. Yeah. So Nameshi actually loses this game. Yep. That's crazy. Oh. Huh. I mean, it looked so well for him the whole game. So he might be, yeah, actually, maybe thinking about Acolyte here is decent. Acolyte, you have to do something with. I think you drop Acolyte here in armor. Yeah. You can't play passively. You lose. Yeah. No. You lose if you play passively, you lose if you play yeah, actively. actively. Yeah. So this is. And think you let him proc oh. for you. Yeah. <laughs> Because he has to, and it does so much damage to him. So basically, all the cards trade for all the other cards, mm -hmm. and uh, Nimsh is behind on fatigue, so he loses. Yeah, and now even by more. Ouch. Yeah, a rip, and pepperoni. So this is gonna be rag into execute. We know it's gonna be uh, basically Nimsh. Up. Nimsh is taking three extra damage every turn. Mm -hmm. Um. 25 versus 30. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically evens definitely. out in one turn. Yeah. Well, it doesn't even matter because the BGH wins it straight up, just killing him. So there's no way to deal with it. Oh, yeah. No, he is. Nightmare. Yeah, but that doesn't do till the next turn, so he gets the attack in with that. Yeah, he gets like so a that's big five attack. extra. Oh, and it it's didn't like hit one extra. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Oh, well, that's even worse, isn't it? I've got the beast in my and that's it. Wow, Nimsh loses. That was an insane game, actually. Yeah. So it's going to be four damage. And this is just probably game over. Concede turn. The best play. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, no. They're going to pass it over ten times <laughs> until someone's dead. Is it? And it's not going to be at May turn. Yeah, hey, guys, like, remember like the... Um, <laughs> Do you remember the the shield block that he used? The shield block like late game that he yeah. used. Yeah. Did that cost him the win? I don't um, think it did. Didn't I don't know. think, I it think did. he lost anyways, right? Yeah. yeah. I think okay. he would. Yeah. Like it would have been a little bit closer, but he would have still lost. I yeah. believe. I think Nimsh had to play like YOLO aggressive, but yeah. if he did, he probably would have lost the brawl. Yeah. Do, do you think? Do you so, remember like the turn when Savannah goes to five, and we were like he should maybe play it, but he didn't play it in the end. Mm. I think that. When he played it there, he would have only two minions still on board, but it would like be like more aggressive. That's maybe where the it it, it may, where it could go better for Nemesh because he would because he would be more aggressive. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Yeah. But that could have been the turn. Well, hmm. almost the full comeback from Nimsh, You have to give it up to him. That was yeah. That was. Uh, pretty, I mean, they they epic. probably already finished the other group. Yeah, probably <laughs> just just by this one he game, warrior right versus right. warrior. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I mean that's that's what it is. Uh, it sucks to lose when it's such a crazy, crazy battle. But um, especially when it really looked like he was ahead. Yeah, it looked points. really like that. I I was always a little bit skeptical, but yeah, yeah, it certainly seemed like he was ahead. Yeah, it's just those warrior matches can uh, can draw out so long. It's like there's no way this hitting fatigue, and then it's hitting fatigue. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe also Drusera was maybe too fast. Or when I'm thinking about it, like actually, uh, if he did the super YOLO protect Yasera play, I think mm -hmm. he would have won. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah if he got yeah. one more card from Yasera, yeah. You're if right. he if he would like bait out all the removals uh. first, okay. Johnny Druid. Hi. Congratulations, man. That was a crazy last game. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, what what was going through your mind? In that warrior versus warrior, because it, like you were sitting there on like two cards, like BGH and Brawl, for about a hundred turns. Yes, I, I was like, I was just armor up, pass, waiting for some cards. The mic. And yeah. somehow, uh, to bait uh, his removals or to play Ragnaros or any big minion. Mm. Well, wow. it worked out. So uh, good stuff. Uh, winning the first game is uh, very, very important, and uh, getting that little win is uh, is a big step in this tournament. Is is this your first live tournament? Mm, yes. It's pretty good. You're pretty close to going on to the next round. That was actually the first match of this group, right? Mm. So, do we who know do you who the one? Do we know who won the other one? They oh yeah, they will, they will play right now. So, oh. who would you rather play out of the other two players? I'm not sure. They're both pretty good. I guess RDO. RDO? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to take a few minutes to set up here. When we come back, we'll see. Uh, I don't know if it's RDO versus Thude or Thode. 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 Mm -hmm. Thode. The huge uh, sandstorm. <laughs> That's what I mean, it's Thode ended up in top four in last season's mm -hmm. recap. Yeah. So he has a quite a past in this yeah. event uh, yep. itself. Uh, he also qualified for... Europe qualifier for BlizzCon, but then he didn't go because of his heart problems. Mm -hmm. So he's a really good player, really known, and RDU, all everybody yeah. knows RDU. Yes. Well, all right. All right. Congratulations, Johnny Drude. We'll be seeing you in just a little bit here. Uh, for now, we're going to go ahead, jump to that quick commercial, and come back with.